the shape keys don't work, so use the fix shape keys button to fix them. The shape keys are in this tab. If you check this little pin, you can scroll through the shape key list to see if they're all working correctly. This is just to make sure that nothing is freaking out, like you don't want some stray vertice jumping out into space or anything like this. So I'm just gonna scroll through these and it looks like one of the mouth shape keys are screwing up the hair. It's hair and hair doesn't have shape keys, so this isn't necessarily a problem, this can be fixed later down the line, but this bug irritates me so much that I'm going to go back into Koikatsu, remove the accessory that's freaking out, export it a second time and check the shape keys again. It looks like it swapped to the other one for some reason. Okay, I got rid of both accessories for now. Like I said, you can get these back later on. This white junk's in the way, so select the body object and hop into edit mode by using this menu on the top left. Deselect everything by using the select menu, and select only the Bonely Fans material by clicking on the material and clicking select. Hit the P button to separate by selection. Now the Bonely Fans material is a separate object. Select the standard material and separate that too. This can appear in the material list as the standard material or the shadow cast material. It doesn't matter what you have because they're the same thing. When you're done, go back into object mode. Now you should have three objects. One is the body object, one is the bonely fans object, and one is the standard or shadow cast object. I'm going to shift select the bonely fans and the shadow cast objects and send them to their own collection by pressing M. I'm also going to disable the collection for now because I don't really need to see it. In the KK Scripts tab, click the Separate Body button to get a body object and a clothes object. The hair needs to be separated from the clothes object, so select the clothes object and go into edit mode. Find the hair materials, select all of them, and hit P to separate like before. Notice that I did not include the little hair ties or the headband. You only want the hair for this object. Rename the new object, and now you should have three objects, body, clothes, and hair. If you want to separate other stuff from the clothes object, go right ahead. I like to separate the underwear into its own object because sometimes it clips through the clothes mesh and certain accessories I like to separate as well. You can separate as many things as you want as long as you do not name them body or hair. These are important objects. Awesome! Now click the clean armature button, and when it's done, click the add bone drivers button. Okay, now open SP3U because you need to get two specific texture files. Go to your Koikat to install directory, then go to AB data, and then Kara. Find the BO head file and drag that into SP3U. Then find the OO base file and drag that in too. So in the BO head file, you want to go to the image tab and click on the face MC mask. I think this is the default setting, but make sure this texture export thing is set to TGA, and then go to the assets menu and click export. Now go to the OO base file and export the body MC mask from the image tab. You should have two files, so go into the longer folder with the character name and put the files into the textures folder. Go back into Blender and click the Import Materials button. The KK Shader Pack includes the Blend file, so choose that file and it'll import the material templates and some nice bone widgets for the armature. You can hide these bone widgets by disabling the widget collection. Now, click on the Import Textures button, go into the folder with the character name, and choose the Textures folder. If everything looks black and yellow, then congratulations, because you've hit the halfway point. All that's left to do is to set these colors correctly and fix the armature a little bit.